That's a good stuff. Holy crap. <laughs> if you haven't noticed yet, I'm in Florida. I'm visiting my folks on an annual fishing trip every February. I'm fishing on the Mayaka River. And uh, this river is, I'm in the brackish water section. So all the way up that way is fresh water, up river. All the way down the river is the bay and uh, salt water. Basically the whole river is lined with mangroves up and down and uh, it's not that deep. It's only about deep five foot average. There's a couple holes around 12 or so and uh, the water is very dark. What the plan is, is with this wind right now and I'm in this big pontoon, what I'm going to do is just go right down the middle here and try and hit the mangroves. Just the off chance that there's a snook, tide's low. Quick tackle rundown. Uh, I got my freshwater fluger with 10 pound braid because uh, I was too lazy to change it after bass season. A little underpowered here, but I do have a 30 pound floral leader on there. And on this guy, I'm starting off with the DOA terrorized. Uh, rod is an $18 Walmart special. Enough yapping, let's go fishing. Snook done quick. That was like fifth cast of the day. Uh, little guy. I don't know, 16 inches, something like that. Pretty sweet though. Right on. Back you go, my friend. Awesome, we're getting them, they're hitting. This is fantastic. Try this guy's my dad's uh, pen. It's a little beefier. I think he's got some way thicker line on here. Uh, let's see if we can get into something like that again. Wow, that was cool.
Oh, that's a fish. That's a big fish. That's another big snook. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of there. Oh, my God, that's gigantic. Holy shit, that's huge. Come on out this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Out in the open water. Get away from the mangroves. Away from the mangroves. Man, it'd be awesome if I could land something like this. This is a big fish. We'll go back behind the boat there. I want you in front. Oh, the rod just snaps. These cheap freaking rods just snapped on me. Equipment, man. It's all about equipment. All right, we got him on the open side with half rod. Coming up, coming up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's coming up again. Nope, stay down, stay down. Don't want that in the gills. Actually, with this rod in half, it's actually got some backbone now. This is a big fish. I wonder if I can net him or lip him. If I can get this far. Oh, my God. That was a beautiful fish. I'm going to grab the net. and net them rather than lipping them if I can get them close enough I this by myself okay he's in the net he's in the net he's in the net <laughs> look at the size of this thing wow Look at that thing. You guys on over there? Yep. Look at the size of that snook. <laughs> for me, that's huge anyway. For me. But that's pretty big as far as snook go anyway. I'm going to put them on the measuring tape back here. All right. He is all the way from there to the middle of that. Okay, let's see if we can gently release this guy since we've messed around with him a little bit. Okay, he's off. Whew. So we have that snook measured to the middle of the uh, gate here, right off of the end. So that's that long, and that is 11 inches, so 24. 11, that guy was 35 inches. That's a big snook, no matter where you are. Sweet. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Did I swear? Did I call it a cheap rod? It's not, it's a pen. It's just a uh, big fish. There we go, fish on. Oh, yeah. Oh. You know, I'm not sure that was a snook. That was a big fish, but I'm not sure that was a snook. I think that might have been a gar. Could be wrong, though. All right, fish on. I forgot to press record. Got a nice little snook here. Not giant, but it's a decent one. Ah, he's a little guy. I thought it was bigger, but still very nice. All right, just a little guy, 12 inches maybe. It's definitely a snook day though. See you, dude.